Hello, I'm Ben Smith, Product Manager at MerchantLink. Welcome to part one of our three-part series for dealers on our Transaction Shield point-to-point -point encryption solution with Micros Res. The series will provide details on hardware options, the transaction flow in a restaurant IT environment with and without point-to-point -point encryption, and important tips for proper implementation. With the release of Transaction Shield for Res, MerchantLink is the first and only provider supporting the integrating encrypting card readers built right into the Micros workstations. When utilizing this solution, card information is encrypted immediately within the reader from the moment the card is swiped. Key entered transactions are also encrypted. Transaction Shield with ancillary MagTech iPads address the XP end of life issue, and we'll be talking more about that in a minute. Decryption of sensitive data occurs within the cloud, within MerchantLink's secure PCI certified network, and not within the merchant's IT environment. And don't forget, as part of our special limited time promotion, change of service fees for adding Transaction Shield will be waived for dealers. Okay, so today we're going to talk about hardware options. MerchantLink supports two hardware options on the Micros Res system for point to point encryption one is a MagTech device, and the other an ID Tech device. Both options provide security and compliance benefits, and the encryption methodology used by both devices is triple DES with derived unique key per transaction key management, where encryption keys are rotated for every swiped or manually entered card. Both devices and supporting hardware can be ordered through Micros, just as you do today. Micros has created part numbers for the devices injected with MerchantLink keys, and you can find this information in the corresponding PMA releases. Now, as you know, a large portion of the RES users out there are running Windows XP on their POS servers and workstations. On April 8, 2014, Microsoft support for XP will end. By definition, a publicly available operating system that has reached end of life and is carrying card data can't meet the requirements of PADSS certification. So we're urging merchants to upgrade their RES and Windows systems as soon as possible. Of course, the truth of the matter is, it's just not logistically possible for everyone to get upgraded and off of XP in time. So for these merchants, we've developed an interim solution. The solution utilizes MagTech iPad combined swipe keypad devices, injected with a merchant link key and can run on XP as well. It's imperative that merchants are informed of the impending XP challenge and know there's a path for them to remain secure and compliant. As far as requirements go, the MagTech option requires RES version 4.11. Well, theoretically, version 4.10 MR1 will work, but I'm saying version 4.11 because it incorporates some fixes that are related to point-to-point -point encryption, and more importantly, it's PADSS version 2.0 compliant already. It's also important to note that the use of MerchantLink's gateway and Transaction Vault tokenization driver is required and specifically, the Transaction Vault driver version 4.14 is the minimum requirement. Again, this option will work for merchants on XP as well as for merchants on Windows 7. The Microsoft workstations that support connectivity to the MagTech devices are Workstation 4LX, Workstation 5 and 5A, PC Workstation 2012, and PC Workstation 2015. The same goes for our second hardware option, using ID Tech devices. This second option for RES with Transaction Shield uses ID Tech encrypting MagStripe readers that reside within the form factored workstation itself, specifically ID Tech secure mag readers, as well as the ID Tech secure key keypad device that allows for manual card number entry. The requirements here are RES version 5.1, Merchant Link's Transaction Vault Driver 4.14, and Windows 7. We've had both of these solutions evaluated by PCI-certified QSAs, and we can provide you with their opinion papers upon request. So those are the hardware options. And keep in mind, when you layer Transaction Shield with Transaction Vault, in other words, point-to-point -point encryption with tokenization, the security and PCI benefits are amplified, helping to protect your merchants and protect yourself. For more information, we invite you to visit our online community for Micros dealers at merchantlinkcommunity.com. Thanks for watching.